Welcome back to Boat Week on the RC Sailors. I'm so happy because it's just already so much a better boat week than the first boat week of 2020. I think that's just how 2020 goes, Nate. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, I just, I thought. <laughs> you start off bad and hopefully end up good. I got really sad for a second when I was just thinking about <laughs> comparing first boat week to 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hopefully this is an indication of what's to come because we started off boat week two on the RC Sailors really strong with a very strong contender, a nice racing boat. And today we're going to take a look at a, a feeder boat, a chum boat. A this bait, is a bait boat. boat. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to talk about this. Um, it's kind of neat. This one is different. We've had three of these on the channel total. This will be the fourth. And everyone launches the food or chum or bait back off of the boat. And I remember Abby and I were like, hey, let's feed some ducks with it. You know, no fish came along with our breadcrumbs or anything. The ducks never ate it either. No. <laughs> uh, disintegrated in the pond and the algae ate it. But today, this boat is different. I was looking at it like, why why bother with this? Uh, there's no, who wants one of those fishing boats if you can't even launch something off the back of it? But I uh, discovered on the bottom of the boat here, we've got a little launching system. So I think when we turn our radio on, this is gonna, Kind of go upside oh, yeah. down, yeah. So let's load this up together. That wasn't a good opening noise. Make a better opening noise, Nate. <laughs> Primo sound effects here on you. Listen, if we want those good sound effects, we got to get a few more patrons. <laughs> Thank you to our existing patrons. Let's load some food in this boat, have a little bit of fun, see if it actually works, if it's worth your hard-earned money or not. Just kind of a unique boat for the channel this week. We have some really cool boats hitting the channel. Not that this isn't cool, but this is so different. I thought it'd be fun to test out, so let's do it. And just so you guys know, we just saw some bass right yeah. here. Little family. Is I don't see them. any now. He probably scared them away. <laughs> we should mention too that this boat comes with a really nice case. I think that's very cool. And it'll keep it nice and clean and protected. And if you get it stinky fishing, it'll keep it stinking. <laughs> radio on first then there's this big giant switch on my boat this is kind of a neat thing you can do you can touch this and it should show how much juice is left and it's just too bright so <laughs> that's kind of neat um, and here's how it works it has an open close button on the radio right here how cool is that I feel like your sound effect was pretty accurate Nate yeah choo, choo. <laughs> Now, here's something interesting. You don't have to load it like that. I just learned you can open that and fill it full of stuff. And maybe you get two loads while you're out and about. I don't know. Thanks, we, Amelia, for the goldfish. These are, this is recycling at its finest. Rather than throwing food away, maybe something will get a little munch on some <laughs> salty crackers. Those would have been thrown away if not for the fish today so there's obviously a lot more room in there for more goldfish mm, black hole of doom yes <laughs> and we seal that off this is not going to be a very high speed boat let's see if it'll acknowledge water it's not giving me any throttle it's not acknowledging water no there there we go. What I don't do think I was fully on. I think there's a two position switch. Oh wow, okay. There, I have power now. Now let's hit lighting. Oh yeah, okay, I see Okay, so light. the lights, they're on. The red lights look great. Is there anything the in the front? The headlight on the front, yes. All right there. Yeah, this would be fun at night, Abby. This would be fun it to would, yeah. like catfish or something. Okay, so this is gonna be a really slow boat. The idea is you don't wanna scare the fish and you certainly don't wanna prop strike. Um, and it has those protectors over the props. So this is actually, there's full throttle. That is full throttle. Oh, we need some steering trim. I got to trim it up. And we're running pretty good. Yeah, that is full throttle. So that's the idea here. Is everyone ready to launch the... I'm gonna get closer. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Should we stop to open it? We only got one shot. That's all of the those crumbs <laughs> we have. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, get a good shot. I've opened it. The now lights flash. Drive. And there we go. I, I'm seeing some crackers falling out. Can you see them? I see. As I drive, they're falling apart. This is going to be real nice to clean up, Abby. I only lost, I've only dropped out a few. So there goes another. There goes some more. So it's kind of slowly spitting them out as I go. Okay. It's kind of cool. And can. It's like spreading them around. Yeah. 
see that i just i just drove over that little seaweed thing yeah and i did not get tangled up so let's let's test that let's drive through these lily pads over here there's just a small bundle of them and see how it does i'm going to close the hatch so it doesn't get caught on anything let's drive it through these lily pads this fish. is just a small bundle of them okay you ready for this don't get caught please i only got one recovery boat not bad just went right through it okay so i want to show everybody the bottom of this boat so they know what i'm talking about one more time and then you drive it around a little bit abby okay sorry we don't have any more crack roof here for you <laughs> all i need to do is probably oh there's still tons in there whoa hopefully you They're can all drop wins. some out oh it's <laughs> disgusting so you see these cages around the props i see that's nice that's nice so you don't get caught and hopefully you don't you know strike any fish or anything so all right Controls are yours, Abby. All right. To the guy that wants a high-powered racing boat, check out yesterday's video. <laughs> this is for this a very is a specific very, yeah. person. <laughs> a very specific person. Now, the, the hatch is closed, so if you want to open it and get crackers to come out. Okay. That's cool. I wondered if it worked. There, you just lost. You just pooped one out. It looks like the boat's <laughs> pooping, really. Doesn't it? It does look like a little bit of poop. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be so gross to clean up. Yeah, because they're not all falling out. Oh, hmm. Now, I wonder if you had like chicken livers in there, yeah, if like they'd fall out better. Close it. It does work while you're running it. You can open and close while you're running. I was hoping that would like shake. Full throttle out? Yeah. No, they are stuck. Now, one thing too that's really cool. Notice how quiet this is. Will you drive it by us really yeah. close, Abby? I want people to hear it. So yesterday's racing boat was extremely loud compared to this. Listen to this as it goes by. Give us a full throttle pass, Abby. Really quiet. So it's a very peaceful boat to drive. And the battery is very efficient. You should be able to run this for like an hour. Well, I can see how the chuck bait boats are better. It does work better. Because it gets it all out, but we have stuff stuck in the back. Maybe if you didn't have crackers that mush together, like yeah. I just lost one finally. Yeah. Maybe it would work better. I, I don't fish a lot, so I'm not really sure what people would even put in this. And we, you know, I said chicken livers. Oh, if, you're cat, if you're catfishing. I would not want to clean that out. No, I wouldn't either, but. That's a pretty popular thing to use. And dog food. People use dog food. Here, let's bring it in and show you guys. I think it's the think mush I still mess. Have it. Yeah, I think I still okay. have it open. Okay. Do you want to get it out or do you want me to? I can get it out. Okay. Come back. Come back. Oh, there. The way oh, you picked it up, nice. it all fell out. Yay. Oh, no mush out. mess. Yeah. I picked it up open. So ah, that's cool. how many were in there still that hadn't come out. Quite a few. So I don't know how good of a method that is to actually chuck your stuff out of the boat. I don't know. But it works. It does work. I like that it's kind of hidden down there. And it's really quiet. Super quiet. And I like that. So here's the radio. It does have an open and closed button for that hatch, a light button to turn the lights on and off, and then throttle and steering trim. Uh, and I had to use the steering trim to get it to run a bit straighter. You know, I'm always up for learning things. I'm not gonna claim to be a pro at using these bait boats. I used to fish a lot before um, we did RC when Abby and I were hobby hunting. You know, we started fishing for a couple years together, mm -hmm. then we got into RC, and when we fished, we never had bait boats. Well, this is our take on this little boat. It's a unique RC, that's for sure. We've only had four bait boats on our channel in total now, and this is the first one of its kind to release the bait from the bottom of the boat. What do you guys think? You pro fishermen out there, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Is this cheating by using an RC boat? Um, is it something that you support? Good and bad. And also I'd like to hear from you guys, why would it be a benefit to have the bait release on the bottom as opposed to launching it out of the top? I suppose that, that method is a lot quieter and less startling to the fish too. Those boats are banging up against the dock. The That's not is. good. Pretty cool, a nice variety to boat week. We're not just gonna do six or seven uh, speed boats for the week. However, we do have a couple more in store that I'm really 
excited about. I think tomorrow's is going to be pretty awesome too. I'm looking at a brushless budget race boat. It looks very cool. Uh, we'll have this linked in the description box below if you want to check out the price for yourself. Again, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And I'm just so thankful to be out here and sharing this experience with you guys, with Abby and just anyone willing to watch. And for that, I thank God. I also want to say a huge thank you to our Patreon supporters. We could not do our channel without you guys. $5 tier or above, you guys get RC Sailor stick stickers. And Abby and I have had our hands ridiculously full in our personal lives. So we're a little bit behind on stickers, but we're constantly always trying to get those out to you guys. So I'm sure right around the corner, Abby's gonna work really hard to get some stickers out to all of our patrons. We just wanna say thank you. If this slow boat was not your cup of tea, well then we have an extremely fast RC boat that we'll have popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.